All right, guys, I've got a new amp demo for you today, and this one is a really big deal. This amplifier here, which is the Spark 40 from Positive Grid, won a whole bunch of awards this year at NAMM, and I think as we get into the demo, you'll see why. All right, guys, so like I said in the intro there, this is the Spark 40 from Positive Grid. Now, Positive Grid uh, makes a whole bunch of really cool software, you know, recording software and plugins and, you know, amp simulators and things like that. But they have now brought out a 40 watt standalone combo amplifier, and it's, it's this one right here. Now, on the surface, this amplifier is a 40 watt combo. You can kind of think of it as a multi channel amp. If you look up on the top here, You've got all the controls. You've got a voicing knob over here, which lets you select a bunch of different amplifier sounds. Of course, you've got your standard controls, gain, bass, mid, treble, master. I've uh, got a couple controls for the effects, modulation and delay. You've got a reverb control and then the overall master output right there. But to call this, you know, just another combo amplifier, th that really doesn't even do it justice because where this amplifier really comes alive is when you pair it with the app that's for the amplifier from Positive Grid. With the app, you have crazy control over the tones in the amplifier. You can select from a bunch of different amplifiers, change all the settings on the amplifier. You can add a bunch of uh, different effects in different chains and so forth. And you can use that to create tones, uh, totally custom tones from the ground up. Now, if you don't wanna do that yourself, you can also download a ton of different tones that the company has made or that other people have made. There's like, thousands and thousands of different tones that you can download onto the amplifier. Basically, the deal is you've got the, a Bluetooth connection between the phone and the amplifier, and then with a Wi-Fi connection or, or even uh, like cell data, you can download all this stuff. And if you wanna go the other way around, maybe you came up with a really cool tone on your own and you wanna share it with everybody else, you can upload the settings that you've made and share it with everybody else. For instance, I made a tone called Takasaki's Revenge. You guys can uh, guess what that is a reference to and I uploaded it onto the library So now anybody with one of these amps and the app can download that tone So the ability to have this really deep control over the sound of the amplifier is a huge part of it but Beyond that, this is a really great practice amplifier because you can use the amplifier to play with backing tracks and you can even create your own backing tracks using this thing called a Smart Jam feature. All you have to do is basically select the Smart Jam feature, you set the tempo that you want, and then you go through about eight bars and you play you know, whatever riff or chord progression you want. Then the app will uh, you know, do some computer stuff and then basically create a backing track that will fit with what you just played. Now it's basically coming up with drums and a bass line and then you can do your, your chords or your, your lead parts over the top of it and it actually works pretty well. Now obviously the Smart Jam backing tracks might not be something you want to use uh, on your next album but in, when it comes to, to practicing or even uh, you know composing solos and things like that, this is incredibly useful. Now the other thing that's great about the amplifier when it comes to practicing is the ability of the app to find out what chords are in a particular song. So you can load up any song, you can search for it, you can find stuff on YouTube or Spotify or whatever. It'll load up a song, it'll listen to it, and then it'll tell you what 
chords are in the song, and as the song plays, it shows you what chords are being played. You can see here, I'm loading up one of my songs, Death on the Iron Mountain, link in the video description, and it'll, it'll actually tell me what chords I played in that song. I'm just using one of my own songs as an example to avoid copyright problems, but you can pretty much load up any song. Now, I can't say it works 100% flawlessly. I did notice that sometimes in songs, if the bass is sustaining one particular note and the, like a guitar riff is changing on top of that, it won't detect always when the guitar riff is changing. I noticed that on a, a loudness song. But generally speaking, it's always going to get you headed in the right direction. And in particular, it's really useful to figure out different chord voicings if you're having trouble identifying those on your own. Another great thing about this is it's not just for electric guitar. You can play an acoustic through this. It's got a bunch of cool acoustic uh, amp settings, and then you can also even play bass through it. But I personally wouldn't recommend that because bass is not as cool as guitar. Okay, so now you're thinking, well, Danzig, what else can I do? Well, let me tell you what else it can do. You can even use the amplifier for home recording. It's got two outputs. It's got a USB output that you can plug directly into your computer and then it also has a headphone out, you know, an emulated out jack. So you can use that for just playing through headphones or you can run that output, the headphone output, directly into an interface if you already have one. But if you don't have an interface, you just use the USB output. And guys, honestly, I could go on and on and on about all the features this amplifier has. There's so much, there's no way I'm gonna get through the video without forgetting something. But it's got, you know, you've got different drum patterns that you can use in the app. Uh, it's got a built-in tuner, of course. You've even got a little control up here for adjusting the volume of the backing track you're listening to in relation to the volume of the amplifier. So there's two more great things I want to mention about the amplifier. One is that it actually sounds really good. In particular, a lot of the effects I was impressed with. And the other thing is the cost of this. When you think about what you're getting, you're getting something you can use as a guitar audio interface. You're getting all this capability of you know, playing backing tracks and creating backing tracks, being able to learn songs with the auto chord feature and all the different tones. And this amplifier is in the $300 range. Now, I don't wanna give you an exact price because this is a really new product. And I, I think it originally came out around 250 and it might be like 299, somewhere in there. But it's definitely in that $300-ish range. And again, guys, if you're one of these old school guys and you, you don't want to use the app, okay, or let's say, you know, something happens, uh, you know, you, for, you take the amp with you and you f forget your phone or something like that, the amp still works just perfectly on its own. You can still just turn on the amp, plug in, and play. And you know, the amp even looks great, too. It's got this cool gold piping here on the top, you know, some, uh, some grill cloth in the front here. It's got a Nice big handle on top, not too heavy, easy to take with you. All these knobs and everything, these feel really, really solid. Now, let me give you some more tone samples in just a second here. But real quick, guys, if you guys enjoy content and videos like this and you like checking out affordable gear and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. All right, so obviously the quality of the sound and the tones is going to be really important to anybody, even when you have this many features in an amplifier. So let me go ahead and give you a few playing and tone samples right now. Let's check it out.
All right, guys, so again, even all the stuff I went over there, there's still more in terms of features with this amplifier. It's, it's pretty crazy how much they packed in here. I'm gonna put some links down in the video description below if you wanna read you know, more details about the amplifier and its capabilities and also check out where you can get it. Now guys, if there's anybody out there that owns one of these amplifiers, you know, let us know how you like it in the comments section below. And remember, there will be links in the video description below for the amplifier and I'll also put links down there for my social media and instructional videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.